I did tell the kids that if it's playing music, it means it's run out of ice cream, but they didn't believe me. Hey, I'm Darren King, or DK if you prefer. I started my channel some time ago to show that you don't need a lot of money to get out and about and enjoy the great outdoors. Then one cold, dark evening in November 2021, in a moment of complete madness, I went and bought a very old motorhome. Not really knowing what to look for or having any mechanical knowledge, I paid cash. Not advisable, and we've had some problems since. Ended up calling her Billy, and knowing very little about them, I have been on a journey of learning DIY and all about old motorhomes. Some say I've been winging it ever since. I like to think I'm making mistakes you don't have to. So come along, join me on our journey together and share the ups and the many downs of owning an old motorhome. So here we are at the old dairy farm on Old School Lane, Banbury. Now if you're coming here, be aware that there is a caravan site before you get to this one. It's a long road, Old School Lane, and there is a caravan site before you get here. But you don't want to stay there because the warden was really miserable and it looks naff. So this is where you want to come to. Millie's all set up, ready to go. As you can see, we've got a perfect view. We've got the park, so the kids can run themselves ragged at the park. There's a little shop on the site as well. We're going to do a quick review of the uh, of the facilities. But as you can see, the whole tour, loads of space. Tessa's in the tent. Oh, well, the tent's up. Uh, we'll work out the sleeping arrangements later. And here we go. This is the venue. The uh, ablutions or facilities are just there. We'll go and check that out. As you put it, it's, a, it's a beautiful campsite and there's a bouncy castle. Kids are loving it. And there's a park. And I've got a beer open. What more can anybody want? These the ladies. So who's the boss then out of yours? Is that the boss, is it? Yes, I am. So you're just saying, so how long this place has been open as a campsite? Uh, it's been open for a few years now. Yeah. Because um, the owners, they're on holiday at the minute. Um, but it used to be a events and stuff here. Right. So and pizza ovens, proper wooden pizza oven? Yeah, yeah. homemade pizzas. Are you expecting it to be busy, are you? Yes. We sold Chips. That's because I ran out. <laughs> Jacket potato oven. Yeah. Jackets with chili, homemade chili. And burgers and chips. Just camera shy. I got the camera out and she's like, oh, I want to be in this one. I want to be in this one. Oh, no, I want to be on the camera. Yeah. To be honest, you're the normal, it's normally the popular ones, the ones that you're on. <laughs> so, quick tour. So, beautiful. Definitely a family oriented campsite. Kids are loving it. They're running riot. You know, like I say, there's a park, bouncy castle, 
uh, you know, really loads of open space, very friendly. The staff are really friendly. I've got a little chat of them in there on the video as well. Uh, facilities, spotless. Uh, bear in mind, this is like midday, so you know, the, there's a bit of grass and all that kind of stuff in the showers, but that's, that's, that's not a problem. Uh, you know, it's £15 a pitch. So we pay £15 for the motor for Millie, £15 for the tent. Uh, bargain, absolutely bargain. No power, but you don't really need power on a beautiful day like this. Uh, unisex showers is probably the only thing I think I think would be a bit, bit weird. Uh, and there doesn't seem to be anywhere in the shower cubicles to put your clothing. Uh, but other than that... take the kids in there. Sorry? So it might be unisex, so you can take the kids in. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. See? Just full of ideas, isn't she? <laughs> so we're having a beer. We're enjoying ourselves. Like I say, it's not far from uh, Banbury, uh, if you wanted to go into Banbury. So I'd probably say if you had a car, it's a nice little drive. I don't know what Banbury's like for a motorhome. If I remember rightly, it's been many, many years since I've been there. It's quite an old town. Uh, but again, next to the train track, uh, quite a lot of the reviews did mention the train track. However, I would say they're going pretty much nearly once every hour. You, 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 hardly, you hardly notice it. And when you do, unfortunately, you do notice it is literally the train track is just there. Just the other side of these trees. But it's not that bad, I don't think. It's not every 10 minutes. And I think they stop at a certain time. So, uh, And the bar opens soon. They do wood burned, wood cooked. What are they called? Pizzas are done in the fire. Wood burned, coal fire, wood cooked. <laughs> what do they call it? What do they call it when there's a wood burner? Wood cooked. Is it wood? It's not wood it's not cooked. It's not wood burned, is it? It's not wood cooked though, it's is it? Burned, it's not wood cooked. Pizza. Would you like some burnt pizza? No, but what is it called? It's not called wood cooked either. Fire. Oh, fire pit? Fire? Answers below. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. There's like a oven cooked Well, that's how you cook pizza. Pizza in an oven. oven. There's an oven. Of course you cook pizza in an oven. Uh, you know what I mean? It's a proper pizza oven thing anyway. Right. All right, so look. Yeah. So it tips itself into the fire, and look, underneath, look. Nice and cooked. Burnt, Dan. Oh, it's cooked. You eat it then. That's good to go. Do you know why? Why? Because there's pineapple on it. So Jess won't admit this, but she burns pizza in her own oven as well. <laughs> so she's blaming Millie's oven, right? Which I think is highly unfair. I think the chef is blaming her equipment. I think it's used for cremation, not oven. Something wrong with that pizza, other than it's got pineapple on it. The burn bits are the best. Who needs a pizza cutter? Pair of scissors. Right. I thought I might have been cutting the plate at the same time. <laughs> so we had to test out, obviously, the available food on the site, as well as the beautiful, amazing, handmade pizzas that Jess has made and put them in Tesco boxes so they look exactly like bought but they're not the handmade she made that all by herself I mean stupidly sprinkled pineapple on it but we've got pizzas but I also wanted to try out the chips not too bad I think the plate of chips a little corner chips £2.50 the cheeseburger was slightly more at £3.50 but the prices at the bar are still also very reasonable as well and uh, even the prices in the shops not too extortion uh, the wine was quite expensive the wine was £13 and it, they probably bought it in Tesco's for about five or six pounds. But you kind of expect them to do a little bit of a markup. You know, that they are trying to run a business here. So comment below, does pineapple belong on a pizza? Because I think it's wrong. Pineapple is fruit. It's not a pizza topping. <laughs> Sat here, drinking, chilling. And this is how far we are from the park. So pretty awesome. Could you get any better? It's, uh, oh, my phone. it's about six o'clock at night. And the ice cream van's turned up. I did tell the kids that if it's playing music, it means it's run out of ice cream, but they didn't believe me. So, ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream! Ice cream! <laughs> so, Jess, how many people are sleeping in the tent in total? Three. How many quilts have you got? Two king size and three singles. And how many pillars? Four. Four, okay. And? Three hot water bottles. <laughs> Now, there's a saying in the army that any idiot can be cold and wet. So, as much as I'm ripping into <laughs> Jess for having three hot water bottles and about 18 million quilts, you know, as long as she's comfortable. Because this is her first time in a tent. This is too. Jess's first time ever camping.
final thoughts of the old dairy farm Banbury on Old School Lane. I uh, really like it, don't we? Yeah, okay. Uh, I didn't hear the trains once I got into bed, but you said you heard a few. Yeah. Uh, the train track is just literally there, but didn't didn't bother me. I slept really well. Melody loved her first night in the motorhome. Jess's first night camping is, uh, look at that face, she loved it, loved it. She's hiding the excitement really well, but the kids enjoyed it. The bounty castle's up, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, the bounty castles are up, the kids are running absolutely riot, they're loving it. And uh, there's animals and there's parrots and there's goats to look at. The staff are very, very friendly. Uh, I think the showers being unisex might be a bit weird for some people. I mean, you've got your own cubicle and it's a fair size cubicle, but there's nothing between your clothes or where to shower and there's no seats or bench or anything like that. So some people may find that a bit awkward getting undressed while standing up and getting dressed while standing up. I know some people with mobility issues may, may struggle with that. It'd be nice to have a little bench just to something to sit down on. Other than that, I can't fault the place. Uh, we had a great night, don't we? We are definitely recommending it. Till the next time, everyone, have a good time. And uh, if you like this, click subscribe, all that kind of jazz. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.